Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I do wanna show you how you can activate your eSIM on your new iPhone and really what it's about. The first thing that we gotta do is we gotta go into your cellular here. And this is all into your settings. So when you go into settings, go to cellular, and it's gonna give you all these different options. Sometimes you'll see it from your provider, sometimes you won't. But on here, where it says add eSIM, eSIM is going to give you that capability to activate your service right onto your iPhone without a physical SIM card. Before we get all this set up, what I want you to do is go ahead and call into your carrier and make sure you tell them what your EID number is. And how you find that is if you go into your settings again, go to general, and then when you go to about on top here, scroll all the way down, it will tell you the EID right here. This number is your eSIM, that is your electronic SIM in your iPhone. Now, when you've called your carrier to activate the eSIM on your iPhone, it's not going to automatically activate. When you are in the setup cellular option here, you can use the QR scanner to use a camera on the iPhone, and you can use the QR code that is provided by your current provider to activate the eSIM if it's not activating right away. Because once when you are in the cellular options here and hit add eSIM, your phone should recognize over Wi-Fi when your phone is being activated or provisioned by your carrier. And when you hit the QR code here, it's gonna have a enter details manually, so they might give it to you as a manual um, input, or you can use a camera and allow the camera to scan a, co uh, a code uh, on a picture or a website that they directed you to. And once when your phone gets activated, You'll see some service up top here, and you'll also see any LTE 5G network that's on your new iPhone. But that's really it. That's all you have to do. That's really how you activate eSIM, but the most important thing is make sure you give the EID number to your carrier and your phone number provided, so that way your phone can get automatically activated when you go into the settings to activate eSIM. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it so much. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below because I would love to answer any of your questions that you may have. But until next time, I will see you in the next video. Peace.